Sandanani, Sandanani, Sandanani. My name is Bangle Hardy, the Trans Queen, and a very warm welcome to our YouTube channel. Please do remember to subscribe and, of course, hit on the notification bell so that you can know whenever we upload a video. Remember to like and subscribe and comment rather on the video below today i want us to talk about something that actually happened to me so this is basically a story time right so i remember a friend of mine and i we went out to groove i mean we always go out to groove anyway so we go out to groove and when we had groove we all about the boys, greeting the boys, chilling with the boys, having a conversation with the boys, wah, 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 you know. But this one time, we, we got to the groove and we were with the boys having a conversation. A random girl at the bar calls a friend over. Yabo, we are Mulisa and then I follow. And I'm like, hey, how are you? Fine, fine. And she says to us, she bought shorts. Oh, so you bought shorts. Yeah, bought particular shorts. Let's take shots. There was four shots on the train, and then there was one shot with hair, right? And then there's your lemon and your salt. But you know the way things were later when I'm thinking of it, I'm like, no man, there were so many red flags, but I didn't pay attention. Okay, shot. Sure. Back to the shots. We take the shots. I take the first one and I'm like, uh -uh, that's enough. I can't, you know, I'm not, I'm not big on taking shots and stuff like that. And a friend of mine is like, oh, I'm going to take all three of them. And I'm like, no, no, just take two. We'll leave one for her. Okay, fine. I cut the two shots and like, okay, thank you. Thank you. I mean, why would a random girl that doesn't even know me call me to take shots with her? It doesn't make sense. It's fine. It's really clever, but it's still now. We continue our conversation and I felt like I'm getting tired and I'm like, I'm getting tired. And my friend says, I'm sleepy. I'm like, let's leave because very this is it. We just go get a two calls ones and then we, we leave because tomorrow we have a priority. We have things to do. We have places to go. Do you understand? Fine. We leave. We go home. Oh no, way home. My friend is like, I don't think I can drive. And I'm like, just force yourself to drive. Force yourself to drive. We drive, we get to the house. Nastiga. I, I think that girl drugged us. I'm like, who's that girl? I, I don't know. I thought you know the girl. I thought you know the girl. So if we both don't know the girl, then what's the story? Do you understand? We get into the house. Sipaki Moto. When we go to close the gate, there's a car standing there. And I'm like, who are these people? And they greet us, hi guys, how this in Landela, this Lathegele, what happened, you see? And I'm like, you see now, you see? So these people used this girl to drug us. What was gonna happen? You know? So we go to bed, we sleep dead, we wake up late, we are even late for the commitments that we had for the day. And I'm like, we we nearly got into trouble. Ne just nearly got into trouble because now think of it. We 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 got to the groove. We met a girl. We don't even know she bought us shorts. And then the next thing we go missing. We don't even know what's going on. We don't even know what happened. No man, this girl drugged us. And it makes sense because when we went to the girl to say hi, our our final our we was accounting. The way they were staring at me, I felt like they wanted to give me a sign. Or something, you know, they wanted to warn me to not take the shots or whatever, but I was just too, I don't know, nonchalant to give them attention. So they just looked at me and I was just not here for that, you know, and it makes sense now. But yeah, you know, so I don't know, I don't, I don't know. Have you ever? In your life, being in a moment where you felt like um, I got drugged maybe or something of that nature, what happened? Do you understand? Because I remember reading a story on Twitter, this one guy saying, so there were girls that almost got drugged. So a guy bought shots at the, at the counter there by the bar and then he took the shots to the table. So when I saw these girls, I quickly wrote a note on my phone and then I, when I got to the girls, I was like, 
look at this picture it's noisy there's music most again so he say he's he projected his voice to say look at this picture so that the girls can read this note and know what is it that they have to say or do so he was just like okay be quiet don't make noise don't be dramatic these shots we we, 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 we are, are dragged you know the guys are trying to drag you and then what happened the girls just decided we're just gonna take our bags and leave we did not get that opportunity so have you been in a position where you got dragged maybe or you almost got dragged what happened drop me a comment below and let me know what it is that had happened and i will interact with you later on in the video but for now though i'll talk to you the next time probably this week probably on monday i don't know but thank you so much for being here please do remember to leave a comment and like the video goodbye